I got into sign painting uh, straight out of graphic design at university. One reason being that I didn't want to sit in front of the computer all day. Another being that I just wanted more variety in my work and what I do. I can turn up for a job any day and I'm painting on a different surface. It's for a different person and different location. And I just find that really exciting every time I go to start anything. I think it's so important to pass on skills to people now because if people start painting who haven't done a lot of practicing in the first place, clients will look at that and say like, oh well that's actually hand done and you can really see it's hand done, whereas hand painted stuff, you need it to be consistent and follow rules so that then people will look at that and say like, oh there is an element of hand paintedness to that, but it's still really legible and concise. This job definitely is a lifestyle. Once you start painting it just like takes over your brain and you just like dream about it. I think to stay original you just have to experiment loads with colour and with form and with different typefaces and that's what I've been trying to do recently is just try to vary the type that I've been doing more. I put a lot of colour into my work and I really like perspective so it just kind of tricks the eye into thinking that it's something 3D. I think that's so interesting to work with and I think a lot of people do look at my work and realise like oh Rachel did that because of like the patterns and what I paint and the way that I guess my personality comes through in it. After the day job's done, quite often I'll just come back and sit in the studio and paint for myself, just to play with colour and texture. I'm a sign writer because I love it and I would be doing it every day, just myself, creating my own work if it wasn't my day job.